Justin, um, you're a big surfing fan, so what's it like to uh, get out and surf with Sally Fitzgibbons, one of the best pro, uh, women's pro surfers in Australia? Um, I, had, I had a great, I had the best day. It was just, um, it was sort of, it was just so relaxed, and, and she's so, such a super cool chick. Like, she just made everything really easy, and um, we got along cool. Like, we were just talking about all different types of sort of things, you know, like not only surfing, but she asked about football and, and you know, just life in general. It was, it was a cool day, and unfortunately, it wasn't. Wasn't much swell, but you know we got out there and had a bit of fun, and she made me look like I was nothing, pretty much. She was outstanding, so uh, no, it was good. You know, I enjoyed myself, and um, it's nice to do these things. You know, and looking forward to seeing the end result on SBS. It should be, should be good. And a uh, four-hour shoot is uh, wound up into about a minute or two minutes worth of footage. Yeah, yeah. So how did you find the process? No, it was good. You know, like I, I was, it was, it took me out of my comfort zone to be honest. Like me and Sally were saying, you know, when we had to walk like home and away styles towards the cameras, and like it was really cool. Like it took you out of something different, and um, it was it was funny having everyone you know watching and stuff. But she, you can see why she's you know, she's so marketable. She's She's so well spoken and um, she takes time to, to speak to all the young little grummies kids down there. We're just super stoked to see her and um, she took the time to, to go and sign some boards and, and, um, and say a couple of words to them. And I think that that's, that's um, a good thing on her behalf. You know, it just shows that she's, she's um, she really doing what she can for, for surfing. Sally was saying that she hasn't, uh, hasn't always had an A-League team. She no. sort of... Uh, you know, had a few different teams that she supported. So, do you think she have converted her to a Mariners yeah, fan? Definitely converted her. Definitely converted her. She, um, she said to me, she, I was, I was a bit on, the, didn't know who to support, but I just need that sort of portion. That's uh, you've got to be a Mariners supporter now. She said, yeah, 100%. I'm full fledged Mariners supporter now. So that's another one that we've got in the bank. So she'll be up. Um, when she can, when she's not away with surfing and stuff like that, she's going to come to a game, which is which is nice. And is this the best promo you've had to do? You have to do lots of different things as a professional footballer, yep. but uh, you know, getting invited to, to to do something you love and be part of the first ever show on SBS, yep. uh, something pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, unbelievable. I, like what I said, when when I got told I was doing, it, I didn't believe it. Um, you know, she's surfing with one of the well, arguably the best surfer, you know, going around in the women's. Um, she's, she, I tell you, she'd give a couple of men a run for their money as well. Some of the things I've seen out there today were just frightening. Um, but you know, I've done a lot of promos. But all the promos I do, it's, it's you know, it's, it's fun. You know, there's no bad promo. But um, you know, today was, was super special. It was, it was unreal. And make uh, Daniel McBreen a bit jealous because I think he might have liked to do this one. Yeah, Maka, Maka texted me today. He goes, Are "You nervous?" I said, "To be honest, mate, I said I've played in front of some crowds before." I am absolutely packing bricks. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Um, but no, Mac would have loved it. But unlucky, bud, you're in China, and I'm here. Uh, no.